The Large Hadron Collider near Geneva is about to restart after a three-year shutdown for upgrades and delays caused by the COVID pandemic. The Particle Collider, the biggest scientific instrument ever built, is famous for its role in the discovery of the Higgs boson. Now, returning to action with more power available than ever before, it will explore new phenomena that may take us into a realm of physics beyond the standard model, our current best understanding of the subatomic world. An analysis of 10 years of data gathered by the LHCB, one of four main experiments attached to the collider, has produced some intriguing results to do with particles called B mesons, the B indicating that they contain beauty or bottom quarks. B mesons are unstable and quickly decay into products that include electrons and a heavier cousin of the electron known as the muon. According to the standard model, B meson decay should produce equal numbers of electrons and muons. But that isn't what scientists working at the LHCB have found. Their measurements to date suggest that nature tilts the scales in favour of electrons over muons in the decay products, possibly due to a new force or particle that lies beyond the standard model. The results collected so far have a statistical significance of 3.1 sigma, which means the chance of them being just a fluke is about one in a thousand. Particle physicists won't announce an actual discovery, however, until they have enough data to reach a significance of five sigma, at which point the chance of a statistical quirk have reduced to one in several million. With the upgrades to the Large Hadron Collider and others on the way, the means will be available to test if B meson decays really do break the standard model. Part of the upgrade work has been to increase the power of the injectors that supply highly accelerated particle beams to the collider. These more powerful beams will cause collisions of higher energies than ever before, and other upgrades in the future will also allow more particles to be collided at the same time. Further improvements to be carried out in 2024 will narrow the LHC's beams and greatly increase the number of collisions that take place. That's an important factor in detecting rare events that may signal a breakthrough to new physics. The last runs in 2018 produced around 40 collisions every time a pulse of protons passed each other, but the planned upgrades will push this up to between 120 and 250. At that point, the LHC will become known as the High Luminosity Large Hadron Collider and will begin experiments in this mode in 2028. Currently, scientists at the LHC are finishing tests on the latest upgrades before ramping up to a small number of full power collisions in May. The frequency of these collisions will be increased in June, which is when meaningful data collection can begin, and the search continue at the most fundamental level for a better understanding of the universe in which we live.